in humble huts all across the archipelago, important work is taking place. It is the work of teachers and students coming together to preserve tradition, blending the ancient knowledge with engaging teaching methods, enlivening for a younger audience the ways of the past, or simply bringing communities together to judge what is valuable, what must be taken on the journey forward. In this season of Dayao, we visit the schools of living traditions to listen to the voices of those who have made it their mission to preserve cultures, to see in the eyes of the young a world that they will gladly inherit, preserve, and pass on. This is what it means to be Sisidlan, a bearer of culture, a school for living traditions. Fu is a Balaan honorific title that denotes the rank of a wise and respected elder. It is a title that has been bestowed to many elders of the Balaan people now dwelling in Polomolok, South Cotabato. It is an honorific rightfully bestowed on Yabing Dulo, a 105-year-old matriarch who is a healer, a medium, and a matriarch. She is also a master weaver and dyer of abaca. Her mastery is ikat, that complex method of weaving that combines three important aspects. First, an encyclopedic knowledge of the forest and its products. Second, a precise skill that turns these products into woven textile. And the last, a memory committed to the myths, the motifs, the symbols of her people. Fu Yabing Dulo has all three and much more. Thus, she was awarded the distinction of becoming a gawad sa manlilikha ng bayan awardee, a gamaba. Manlilikha ng bayan, ang pangalang Yabing Masalon Dulo, Blaan Mabal Tabi. To visit Fu Yabing's village in Polomolok is to see how the Gamaba recipient has awakened a renewed interest in abaca ikat weaving. Dayao's visit was also an occasion to witness the love and respect that family, kin, and village bestowed on their beloved Fu. Maglambing, tapos yung ang gusto niya, hindi mag-away yung mga anak niya. Tapos kung may mga pagkain na mabuting pagkain, gusto niya kung anong pagkain dyan, ay para sa amin, iniwan niya. Matanda na siya, pero pasalamat namin sa Diyos na siya bilang kahit matanda, pero parang malakas din ang sarili niya. Yan pero ngayon na uh, gusto namin na uh, kahit anong kahit anong layong lugar pumunta rito kay nanay at sa amin din kami sumunod sa kanya. Marami na siyang uh, tulungan. Gaya ng number one, yung lugar ng Lamdipo, Malandag. Siya ang una-una doon nagawa ng kwan. Parang kumbaga, anong sa inyo yan, ma'am? Siya ang propesor, kumbaga. Nagturo siya sa Malungon, saka sa barangay namin. Pati na rin po dito sa, sa community ng Purok Poramgo. Dahil mas unahin niya po turu, turuan yung 
mga tao dito sa community para mas mapadami, mapaipasa niya po sa mga apo niya at kamag-anak niya yung kanyang weaving uh, paghahabi na talento. In her home, women gather to assist and learn from her. Six years old pa lang ako, tinuruan, ko, tinuruan na ako ni Lola na mag-dance, mag magtahi ng damit ng blaan at saka mag magawa ng birthday at saka yung necklace. Ay, si Lola, magaling siya magturo. Tapos, kung hindi mo siya pap papakinggan, magalit siya, dapat pakinggan mo lang maayos para... Kasi pag magturo yan si Lola, eh, isa lang. Hindi, hindi, siya, hindi siya magturo ng ilang beses. Kahit yung gusto niya, kapag magturo, dapat makinig ka para, para mabilisin mo makikita. Ma ma at saka ma mabilisin mo ma makuha yung kanyang puro. Yung paggawa po ng beads, bale, nakikita ko lang sa kanila. Pero nagawa ko ng sariling strategy ko, yung nylon na ganito. Pero okay rin yung gamit ang sinuli. Ito po, pero yung iba, paggawa, uh, gaya ng paggawa ng mga scarf, at saka yung mga patadyong, hindi ko pa nasimulan yun, pero willing ako matuto. Isa siyang mabuting teacher. At saka, uh, lahat ng mga medyo mali, kinukrosyon na niya agad para yung mga student niya matuto agad sa kanya. At matatandaan ng iba, uh, ng mga estudyante niya kung anong mga tinuturo. Kaya, kaya ng labas, matuto sila. At yun nga, si Lola ay very important. At mahal namin siya. And we meet those who have actively taken a part in helping Fu promote her art and manage the newfound fame, which has brought both honor to their clan and the possibilities of commercial success for her own weaving. So bilang apo niya, nakitaan namin, uh, sobrang masaya kami dahil na, nabigyan siya ng parangal sa, dahil po sa kanyang karunungan. Masaya po kami dahil hindi lang para sa aming pa pamilya, kundi sa buong tribong blaan. Parang masaya kami dahil parang nagkaroon ng ilaw, ng liwanag ang tribong blaan. Na sa paraan sa, sa kanyang parangal, maipakilala yung buong tribo sa buong sa buong bansa magaling talaga sa gawang uh, gawang kamay ng tribong blaan uh, lalo na sa sa paghabi si lola po ay malaking karangalan sa amin dahil po ay nabigyan po kami ng na opportunity na magaya po namin yung kanyang uh, kaalaman tulad doon sa pagwiwib niya, pag pagtatahi, paggawa ng mga beads accessories sa paggawa din ng blaan basket. Uh, sa music din po. Pati na rin po sa pag-uugali, sa paghalubilo sa ibang tao, yun po ang natutunan namin sa kanya. But meeting Fu Yabing reveals a quiet, almost aloof elder, seemingly wary of the attention of outsiders and their gadgets and cameras. She must have been wondering why, despite her award, we seemed so interested in her. Ang 
Ang nauna niyang ano, yung sinabi niyang mama niya na mag-design daw siya ng kung tawagin ay fanggalaw. Fanggalaw daw yung pinagawa sa kanya para makuha niya lahat ng designs. Tapos yung kung lalawag ni Kriyo ni Mo, bukan daw siya at doon sa nun. Ang iniisip niya, ma'am, siya lang yung parang binigyan ng love, tapos parang walang maibigay in return. Abraham, lo ko yung nito kang dori daw. Over the next days that Dayao spent with Fu Yabing, she would grow warmer towards us, sharing her knowledge and her own unique and loving view of her vanishing world and her enduring art. Lutai is a Balaan word for the fiber, scientifically known as Musa textilis ni. To the majority of Filipinos, this fiber is simply called abaca. Abaca used to grow wild in the forests of Amguo, the hamlet where Yabing Dulo was born some 100 years ago. It was from her mother and her kinswomen from whom she learned to weave on the backstrap loom. We think of weaving today as simply a process of putting warp and weft together to produce a textile. But for many animist peoples, the process begins in the forests or the plantations where the abaca trunks must be cut down, the fibers gathered and processed. Saan po kinuha yung abaca? Ah, sarili namin yung tanim. Tataniman namin eh. Kaya noon, ganito naman ang produkto namin. Ilang buwan o taon po bago tumubo yan? Oo. Saka na yun. Mga anim na taon po. Ito. Kayo ang nagbibigay ng ano, baka fiber kay Lola, Yabing? Oo. Oo, noon. Iwan ko naman ngayon, noon. Barato na eh. The use of organic dyes is another aspect of Fu Yabing's art. As a young girl in Amguo, she learned the plants and herbs, their relationships to the climate as well as to other plants. Yung mama niya, nakuha niya dun sa mama niya. Tapos siya, nakuha niya sa mama niya. Yung design. Wala siyang sariling design. Yung design talaga ng mama niya ang ginagaya niya hanggang ngayon. Tapos bawal daw ituruan yung anak mismo. Kung mabilis ka daw mag-weave, ma'am, matatapos mo yung isa sa isang linggo. Pero kung hindi ka naman mabilis, nasa dalawang linggo ba ako matapos? Masaya daw siya, ma'am, pag nag-weave. Dahil nag-weave siya na mula sa puso. The weaving process that she learned as a child is pregnant with myth and meaning. The motifs sacred to the Balaan people are deeply etched into Fuyabing's mind and memory. Ano yung design na yun? Lugoban. Lugob lang siya, ma'am, kasi maliit. Maliit na design lang. Dutukay, dutukay.
Despite the encroachment of Catholic fundamentalism, which began when Fu Yabing was a young girl, and which has made many converts among her kin and village, Fu Yabing and her husband have remained deeply animist. It is this abiding connection to the ways of the ancient Balan that makes for the totality of Fu Yabing's personhood. Her being a weaver is not separate from her being a biologist who knows the forests and its fruits and herbs. Nor can her being a weaver be separated from another important function, that of being a medium to the spirits. The weaving process itself is guided by ritual. Here she presides over the rites preparatory to weaving. Leading a group of younger weavers into the river to seek the blessing and guidance of the spirits. The river is also the site of a larger ritual that involves the entire community. Here, as a priestess, she blesses the members of her clan and community in an ancient rite that she learned as a young girl. What challenges does a traditional artist like Fu Yabing face when accorded the distinction of Gamaba Awardee? How can she keep her own spirit and instincts pure in the face of possible commercial success and national attention? Whether her family may watch out for her interests and whether the National Commission for Culture and the Arts continues to guide and monitor her efforts, Fu Yabing clings to only one vocation in her old age to teach and to pass the ancient world of her Balan forefathers to the younger generation. Ako po yung first na kasali sa student ni Fu Yabe. Malaki po ang natutunan ko kasi uh, first na pagsama namin sa kanya para magbuo ng grupo. Kahit mahirap ma, pinilit namin magsama kasi uh, para gusto namin matutunan lahat. Unang una, uh, Nag, nagsama kami mag uh, tumba ng abaka uh, kasi andun pa kami sa kalyong noon yung first namin na to, 2013 pa andun kami sa kalyo maliit pa lang yung anak ko nagsama pa rin ako kasi um, nasa isip ko para matutunan ko lahat ng ginagawa ni po kasi matanda na siya para mas transfer sa amin ang ang galing niya. Ang natutunan ko po kay Lola yung pagbibid din po. Kasi po, nung time nagwawalis po kami doon, nung naglilinis kami, kinuha niyo yung kamay ko, dinala niya ako doon sa bahay niya. Sabi niya, ito, tahiin mo, tapos hindi pa naman ako marunong. So, sabi niya, sige lang, kaya mo yan. Kaya kinaya ko po hanggang na, na ano ko na nakuha, nakuha ko na yung design niya sa pag ano ng beads. Kaya po, ito si Lola, nagpapasalamat din po kami kasi ano, hindi din siya nagsasawang tumuro sa amin. Ituloy namin ito para makilala kami ng isang, isang tunay na blaan. At saka si, si Auntie Yabing, uh, gusto namin po, ituro niya sa mga bata lahat yung mga talinto niya. Eh, baka, baka uh, gumawa ng, uh, baka sa sunod na araw, baka kinuha ng Panginoon. 
eh wala na kung hindi na itinuro sa mga bata. Gusto namin lahat ng mga taga, taga rito at taga, taga rito sa amin sa kalyong, itinuro niya ma'am. Kando sa nimo ko na ni, yun yun at mabong ni ito, kung nabong ko ni ito, abiyon nililabid tutong. Ang sabi niya sa mga estudyante niya, dapat ipagpatuloy nila daw na tumulong sa kanya. Di daw tulad nung unang panahon na walang tumutulong. Tapos yung mga gawa nila parang ano lang, palitan lang. Palitan lang ng gamit, hindi nila binibenta. Pero ngayon, madami nang nagkakagusto para ipagawa sa kanila yung gustong tela. Yaving uh, Dulo has really been uh, one of the most important uh, people in preserving Blaan uh, Mabal Tabi. The traditional weaving, uh, similar to the Tinalak in, in, in uh, the way of uh, working, but this is Ikat, no? Ikat weaving. And you know that. Uh, uh, ikat weaving is very old in the Philippines. And uh, we have fewer and fewer ikat weavers simply because it's a very hard uh, kind of uh, work. You have to be so painstaking in your work because you really have to tie a lot you know, of strings in order to create, to create a pattern. And um, Fuya Bing, in spite of her age, in spite of her eyesight, not as clear anymore as before, she continues, she persists in this. And she, very, she creates very, very fine designs. In fact, she is one person who really deserves the award because she doesn't want to adulterate the authentic Bilaan designs. She makes sure that uh, she safeguards the most authentic designs of the Bilaan because she says that this is the source of Bilaan identity and you cannot, be, if you, cannot be you cannot be proud of being a Bilaan if you adulterate this design. So this is the importance of the very fine designs of uh, Fuya Bing, and you don't really find this anywhere else uh, in, the, in this country. That's why we honor her with the um, Manitikainan Bayan Award. into the trap of compartmentalizing our Gamaba winners as just weavers or chanters or craftsmen. Just as we like to do with ourselves, the people we know, we often fail to recognize that to be a Gamaba awardee is to be a total embodiment of a community. It is to perform many traditional roles that were important to the welfare of the clan and the village. To be a Gamaba winner is to be more than just an artist, but a fully realized person functioning with many roles. A mother, teacher, shaman, medium, repository of knowledge. Fu Yabing personifies all that. In her great wisdom, in the totality of her personhood, 
she is truly worthy, bearer of Dayao. Our knowledge, our pride, 